students how are you all let's begin with our day 10 video for our class 5th subject mathematics our today's topic is rounding off numbers hmm. as you can see rounding of numbers below it four subtopics are made 10 100 1000 10000 so this Rounding of numbers to tens place and hundreds place we have already done in our fourth class. And rounding of numbers to our nearest thousand and ten thousand place we are going to study in our fifth class. So let's first revise our fourth class topics which is rounding of number nearest to tens and hundreds place. Like you have a number 27. You have to round it off nearest to tens place. Can you round it off and tell me the answer? Yeah, try soon. So start by understanding the concept. Like by while rounding off numbers, we have two cases. Let's see. We have to round off this number nearest to tens place. So first we will find out where is the tens place in the given number. Like it is ones and it is tens. So this 2 is at tens place. So while rounding of the number, we will see the previous place digit. So the previous place digit here is 7. We will see the two cases related to this previous place digit. Like case 1. If our previous place digit equals to 0 to 4, means the previous place digit has the number from 0 to 4. Or it can, we can say it is smaller than 5. So, the given place digit like our tens place digit will remain same and all the previous place digits, the previous digits then this 2 will become 0. Now, let's begin with our case 2. If we have our previous place digit greater than 5 or 5 like 5 to 9. So, the given place digit will become one step greater by adding 1 to the given number. And our previous digits, then this number will become 0. Like for example, our example number was 27. We can just see our tens place, we have to round it off nearest to tens place. So the tens place number is 2 and its previous place digit is 7. So now let's see, 7 is smaller than 5 or greater than 5? It is greater than 5, yes. So when it is greater than 5, this place, this tens place digit will also become one step greater. See, when the previous place digit is greater, so this tens place digit will also become one step greater. Like 2 will become 3 and previous place digits will become 0. Now let's take an example 46. We have to again round it off nearest to tens place only. So this is the tens place and it's the previous place digit which is 6. Or let's take an, any other example. 46. 6 is the, 4 is the digit and we its previous place digit is 6. So here we can see that the previous place digit is again greater than 5. So this number will also become one step greater. So 4 will become 5 and this 6, the previous place digits will become 0. If we have one more number like 32, so once tens, tens place is 3, but its previous place digit is 2, it's smaller than 5. So if the previous place digit is smaller, the given place digit will remain same. Like here, as we can see, if previous place digit is smaller than 5, so the same. Uh, is smaller than 5 so given digit will remain same so 3 will remain 3 and all the digits before it will become 0 let's take one more example 74 again let's round it off nearest to tens place 7 and its previous place digit is 4 it is smaller than 5 4 is smaller than 5 so this 7 will remain 7 and rest will become 0 so just keep in mind if previous place digit is smaller so given place digit will remain same. 
smaller smaller start from s so it will remain same smaller and same if digit is smaller the given place will become same but if the given place digit is greater so the number will also become one step greater if it is greater so it will become greater but if it is smaller so it will remain same let's start with our questions so here it is round off the question is round off nearest to tens 27 nearest to 10 so once tens here is the tens place its previous place is it is 7 greater than 5 it is greater so its tens place will also become one step greater so its answer will be 3 with 1 0 so 30 again nearest to 10 so this is the number at tens place and its partner is this 2 but this partner is smaller than 5 so this number will become same smaller resembles to same but greater resembles to greater smaller so it will remain same and rest 0 now this one 65 nearest to 10 so 6 and its partner previous place digit is 5 but it is 5 so it comes in greater 1 so this number will become one step greater with 1 0 so 65 is rounded to 70 let's come to hundreds how to round off to hundreds place 425 so once tens hundreds hundred place digit is 4 let's see its previous place digit which is 2 this 2 is smaller than 5 or greater than 5 yes it is smaller so this 4 will remain same if it is smaller so it will remain same and rest as 0 now next this is the nearest to 100 792 so here 7 is the digit at 100 space and its partner is 9. Now let's check the previous place digit is greater than 5 or smaller than 5. Yes, it is greater than 5. So if this is greater, so this place will also become one step greater. 7 will become 8 and rest to 0. 358. So if, let's see, nearest to 100, here 3 is at 100 place. And its previous place is it is 5. So it is greater because 5 comes in greater one only. So this 3 will become one step greater and rest 0. I hope you have recapitulated our topic nearest to 10th place and nearest to 100s. Now for 5th class our topic is round it off nearest to 1000 place and 10,000 place. So now our topic is how to round off the given number nearest to 1000s place. Like the number is given 3124, let's first find its thousands place. Once, tens, hundreds, thousand. This is our thousands place. Let's see its previous place digit. It is 1. So previous place digit is smaller than 5 or greater than 5? It is smaller. So this digit will remain same. If it is smaller, it will remain same. If it is greater, it will also become one step greater. 3 with 3 zeros because it has 1, 2, 3 digits before it. Now let's see the next number. This is the thousands place and its previous place digit is 5. 5 comes in greater 1. So this 8 will also become one step greater which is 9 with 3 zeros. 9000. Now let's take the next number which is 6743. Let's see, its thousand place digit, it is 6 and its previous place digit is 7. So 7 belongs to smaller than 5 or greater than 5? Yes, it is greater than 5. If it is greater, so its thousands place digit will also become one step greater. So 6 will become 7 and rest we have 1, 2, 3. 3 zeros with it. Now let's come to 10,000 place nearest to 10,000 we have to round the number let's find the 10,000 place once tens hundred thousand ten thousand here 10,000 place digit is one 
Let's see its previous base digit which is 2. The previous base digit is smaller than 5 or greater than 5. Yes, it is smaller. So, the 10,000th base digit will remain same and rest we will have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now next one, 10,000 place digit is 2 and its previous place digit is 5. So 5 comes in our greater one. So this will also become one step greater. 2 will become 3 and rest we will have 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the last one we have 79,725. Here 7 belongs to our 10,000 place and here the digit is 9. Previous place digit is 9. So we will just check the previous place digit is greater than 5 or smaller than 5. If greater, so this will also get, become greater. If smaller, so it will remain same. Keep in mind just if the previous place digit is greater, so given place digit will become one step greater. If the previous place digit is smaller, so it will remain the same. So 9 is greater. So 7 will become 8 and with 4 zeros 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer is 80,000. I hope you have understood the concept of rounding of numbers nearest to 1000 and 10,000 space. Now, in our next PDF, I will be sending you the classwork and homework related to the given topic. So I want you all to do the questions given in your home task as well and please like the video and subscribe the bell icon to get notifications and updates. Thank you.